G'day folks, welcome to Big Red TV. Great to have you with us. Division Table. one men and division one women and um We've gone we high. Are. We've gone high tech. Mm. What's happened? We've got to the finals and we've just gone high tech. Well, well you're in charge of the why am I? computer stuff. Well, because you put them in front of us. Right. What's the go? What's what's so happening? Basically, all you need to do is you've got it all here and right. you just swipe it up and down. That's it. And it's a laptop as well. Yeah. It's two in one. It's a what? A laptop. Check this what? out. Yeah. Watch this. Oh. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. Mm. Well, you didn't know. You don't even know what Facebook is. No, oh, I know what Facebook is. I go on. No, I go on the face stuff. Been talking to Jody Impey on the, no, on the face stuff. Your it's been very conversation good. blossom with Jody. With Jody, yeah, no, I've got a lot of basketball love for Jody. We talked about her in the D two show. She had a very good weekend. Gosh. D one. Let's start off with D one women. Craigie Burn and Geelong headed back to Craigie wow. Burn. It would have been massive there. Massive. It would, mate. It would have been huge in Craigie Burn on the weekend. Would have been going off. I would imagine. Saturday night amazing. would have been coming off. Saturday night. Saturday night. Craigie Byrne levelled the series against the Supercats 63-51. Thanks largely to one person. Oh, to Neil Campbell. Oh, 29 points. She was very good. Single-handed. So Single that's what, that's yeah. all that is. Uh, no one else scored double figures. She had 29. Start player. She led her team to victory on the home court and then sent the series to a decider. 29 points, uh, five triples, had uh, a couple of steals, three assists, six rebounds. Very good. No other player in double digits. Mm -hmm. As you said, no one went with her, but didn't need to. She just dominated the that game. show it was. Definitely. For Geelong in that game, uh, Catherine Brockett had 13 points, Jess Watson 9 points, 14 rebounds, 11 rebounds to Amy Wormold. Uh, I think the thing here was both teams shot at 25%. Yeah, it was a scrap. It was a scrap, which led Hard us... Hard defensive finals basketball. Which led us to thinking right. the Sunday game was probably going to be similar. Yeah. Guess what happened on Sunday? Just, yeah. yeah, no, I did that. Did, That's you, press, good. did yeah. you get the right one? No, I got the right game. That's yeah, right. good. Yeah. Craigie Burn 52 went down to Geelong 53. Yeah. Guess what kind of a game it was? Scrap. Scrap. Yeah, it was a scrap. Well and truly. Uh, oh. well, Craigie Burn shot at 26%. Geelong shot at 17.9%. And they won. Yeah. And they won. You Tell can... us how they won because you guys know and a bit the, more about this. They won at the foul line. They won the foul line. Uh, Craig Evans shot 9 of 14 from the foul line. Geelong shot 25 of 33. Yep. Phenomenal. Really, really good effort. They Geelong were up by about 10 in the last quarter, yeah. and Craig Evans stormed home. Yeah. They nailed about three or four shots in a row, and basically had the last possession of the game yes. coming out of a timeout, so advanced ball. Yeah, we told you that because Louise Johnson hit two free throws to put Geelong. Now, now so Louise Johnson, 12 both seconds to go, hit both free throws. What yeah. do you think she did after both free throws? Fist pumped. No. Let the crowd. No, 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 no. She doesn't do that. Went straight to the. What bench. would she have done? Defense. Come on, you were about to do it. Clapped herself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, Lou Johnson. She's fantastic. And if you're ever going to clap yourself. Oh, that's the time yourself. to do. I tell you what, that was a uh, very good effort <laughs> so by Lou Johnson. We've been talking about that for a couple yeah, of weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And she went to the foul line and got them up. Advanced ball after the timeout. What happened? Oh, I don't know. What happened? They coughed it up. But so, so it was a turnover, was it? Was it a turnover? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what the live stats say. Yeah. It was oh, a turnover. Yeah. I heard there was Who a foul called. as well. Same, same, same. Well, it's, it, the live stats say it was a it was a ball handling turnover from Tennille King. Yeah. yeah. I've also heard there was a foul. Was there a foul call? Oh, I haven't heard, to be honest. What we do know is there was no further score added, right. and, and Geelong won. won. But they showed us, didn't they? Who? They showed us. Geelong, they showed us. Well, let's go back to last week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Because oh. you tipped Craigie Burn. showed me. You yeah. tipped Craigie Burn to win both games. Absolutely. We both tipped yep. Craigie Burn to win Saturday. But you both tipped Geelong we to win Sunday. We both tipped Geelong to win Sunday. Yeah. And I noticed... <laughs> I'm here all night. I, no <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that Geelong may or may not have put some stuff out on the face stuff this week saying that... Let you know. That no Let one, you know no one around the league tipped them. Yeah. Uh, Only I did it. Wrong. They did. Mate, we tipped you. Where's the love? <laughs> They're the underdogs. Mate, we, we tipped you to win. I've got uh, an apology from the crowd. Yeah, 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 I just missed it. Oh, I missed the table. Yeah. I did it a fair bit. <laughs> Craig, you've been apologised yeah, to because they didn't get up for me. Well, I, I, I they don't... kept Cam to six points. Yeah, on the Sunday, you'll talk yeah. about that in a moment. I don't know what the direct, uh, I don't know what the Eight. direct message was <laughs> um, with the Super Cats on the face stuff. But they showed it. But I, I just, I just <laughs> want to put it out there again. I've been since. And maybe they do need to change it. We did actually tip you. We did go for you. So plenty of other people might have got it wrong. We didn't. Have I? 
seldom do. Have I done that? Well, no, we do. We get it wrong a few times, yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, great win to the to the Huge Super win. Cats. Um, uh, a bit, Louis... of a, bit of a story, though. Oh, yeah? Go. Lou Johnson, 14 and 6 years. She had a good weekend. Yeah, yeah, really. That's really. what I was about to Jay say. Jay had 12 points, got 10 of them at the foul line. Yeah. <laughs> um, huge effort there. Amy Werhold. Mm-hmm. She had 14 rebounds in this one, 5 steals. Came off just beast. before 3 quarter time. And uh, she might have turned an ankle and a uh, bit of pain, and uh, well, her yeah, status is pretty questionable. It'll be interesting to see in the lead up to the weekend uh, what, what uh, comes of that. So that's a big loss. You I can, think it should be a big loss. Definitely. She's a top you can be, five player. You can be league. guaranteed. You can be guaranteed. Geelong's a big place. Okay. There's there's Park there's a, there, there's a few doctors down there. There's a couple of hospitals. There's they some can make you the stadium and hit up. Yeah. They <laughs> will be cut. working that ankle yeah. over over time this week. Of course. That's so like she'll, she'll get up. She'll be fine. Great. Should be fine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. The other apparently this game was played in really good spirits. Before the game started, both teams were just standing around together outside the change rooms, having a laugh and having a chat. And that's before they're about to go to battle in oh. game three of the deciding series. And I think that's fantastic to see the two teams, you know, coming together and getting along so well before the game spirit started. We yeah, were absolutely. saying we were saying before the cameras rolled earlier on, generally around the league. Yep. Players and coaches, mm. uh, they do. Yeah, it's great. They do it's stop fantastic. and have, they go on the court. They battle yep. before and after. They will say good day, and they, oh, I think it's a great part of the league. There's no, no doubt about that. Uh, Denunzio had 12 points and nine rebounds in this game. Ellie McLean 12 points, eight rebounds. As you said, Tanil Kent held to eight points after her 29 points the night before. Uh, from day one of this competition. Um, I've said Geelong is is yeah, the yeah. team. Mm-hmm. You know, I know they're obviously coming up against another team in form this week, but uh, I, I think that on the colours. I, I think I that Geelong, uh, uh, right from the start, have uh, deservedly got to where they should. Absolutely, in a great like yep. they're a very good team. I think Look, I yeah. felt the top three teams. Oh, sorry, excluding Whittlesey, but I'm going Crazy Burn, Geelong, and Warrandyte. Oh, they'll stand out. Yeah, any yeah. two of those three will give us a great grand final yeah. series, and I think the one we've got is going to be fantastic. Yeah, all right, well, let's. Which, yeah, let's. Yours are messed up. Oh, what's going Oh, hang on. What's happening here? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's it. No, but look. It did the thing. Oh, yeah, okay, that's all you right. You guys exploded. Well, that's they did. <laughs> we're, look, we're going into, it was going to a war night and we'll see, it was, it was over pretty early. early. You know what's going to happen next week, don't you? <laughs> you two are going to have these, I'm going to come back with the paper in there. Yeah, I'm just right. going to have exactly anyway, too much go text. War night won 89 to 49 to sweep Whittlesey 2 0. It was over really early. War jumped out of the blocks and. To be honest, I didn't give Whittlesey a chance of getting themselves back into the oh, game, right. and the game pretty much went the way that I thought it was going to go. Yeah, the big stories out of this game, uh, the Venom won the rebounds 51-36, to 36, shot at 40%, Whittlesey at 20%. Uh, Warradite holds another team to under 50. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we really do pride ourselves at the defensive end, and we held Whittlesey to just 55 shots for the game. Um, so that was a big part of it as well. What are you Favourite. smiling at? 15 wins in a row? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think so, yeah. No, I think don't, oh, don't you know exactly don't, how many it is, mate. You know exactly. I, I'm telling you. Oh, we, don't. We, <laughs> I know it sounds cliche, but we are One literally. Game at a time. literally. Uh, Steph Thomas, 32 points, <laughs> 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 steals. Only played 28 minutes. Uh, 3 triples <laughs> that as well. Is, in 28 minutes, that is absurd. She that played, is played well. Yeah. Amanda Hedricks, 12 and 11. Rachel Wansborough, 14 and 8. Rachel Wansborough, 14.8 rebounds in 21 minutes. Not Only bad. played 21 minutes in that game. Um, Molly Burke, 12 points, 7 rebounds. Meg Dargan had 7 assists. I think she'll win gold hands this season. She has an average turnover of 1.5 a, a game and she has the ball in her hands more than any other player I've seen in the competition this season, so it's pretty good. Do you think, is Steph Thomas the best player you've ever coached? Oh, that's a great question without notice. It's been around that's, a while. That's a really good question without notice. Um, it's not bad. Uh, look, I've I've had the privilege of coaching some plays in their twilight. Like, jo- sorry, our our crew's getting involved in some head shaking, are they? Yeah. I've had the privilege of coaching some plays in their twilight, like Joe Metcalf, Kate Cohen, uh, Sally Phillips. Very very good basketballers. Ripper. Very good. 
Uh, that is she the best? Hey, that, mate, they've got 900 WNBL games between them. Are yeah, they that's not better? What he's asking. He's asking. I'm not he's disputing that. Just, I'm just, like, I'm, just I'm just qualifying my answer so yeah. I don't disappoint anyone out there. So you don't think she is? I've also had some great kids come through, like Molly Burke and Meg Darg and Casey Taylor's coming through. You know, Rachel Wandsbrook coming out over the last couple of years. I've got everyone in there. Chelsea Ransom's been there since day one with me. Yes, I think Steph Thomas is the best player on the coach. I just had Amanda Hedrick's had a great season. Oh, oh, missed, no, you are shameless. Shut up. Just <laughs> 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 give everyone a mention so I don't disappoint anyone. Another question without notice to you two. Win will see season pass or fail? I, I thought they'd be better than what they were, fail. to okay. be honest with you. I, I think that given the off-season recruiting <laughs> that they did, and I'm just going to call it as I see it, given the off-season recruiting that they did, I think everyone was talking up Whittlesey winning this season. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, yeah, look, I, they, had, they I did just, have a few injuries during the season. I just don't think they got it all together. Bit, but I think you know a number of the Dave Keys for syndrome. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, um, uh, Warren Dyke man, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, look, there's a few. It either, look, it either works or it doesn't. You bring a team yeah. together with a lot of people from yeah. all over the shop and they either gel or they don't. If they don't, it's really ugly. You know what, it can be ugly. the season. Like, that group could come back There's still like finals. That's like, it. That group could come back next season and wipe the floor with everyone. I yeah. think the other thing is, and uh, I, I've got to remove myself from the fact that I coach the opposition yeah. in these two games, but we would say it about any team mm -hmm. in, in this situation in the finals, They've got to the finals and they've lost by 23, 24, and 40. And 40. Like, it's not a great end of the season, no, no matter who. You, yeah, you made the finals, yeah. but it's not the way that they would have wanted to, to finish the no, finals. Uh, in, that, in that game, by the way, um, Steph Clark had 11 points. Nicole Cameron had 10 points. Steph Clark had a pretty good season. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. Good season. Uh, we should also mention that uh, Rachel McEwen uh, was disqualified in this game. She had two unsuccessful fouls and disqualified no. as a result and, and sent out from the game. She so. used to make me coffee. Did she? Mm. She was like, coffee girl. I don't know that when she left the game, she went and worked in the canteen for the rest <laughs> of the night. So. Packed her bags and headed off. Right. So we head into a grand final series. Uh, uh, hey, where's all my stuff gone? Where's all my stuff? Oh, don't Close tell me. What's it. going on here? Hold on. Oh, no, I've got it all back. That's okay. I've got it all back. I'm okay. The paper's coming back next week. I'll tell oh, I started sweating up big time then. Um, <laughs> grand final. Too much too soon. soon. Grand final series. Uh, <laughs> no notes. <laughs> oh, you're, you're not allowed notes. Yeah. What? Oh, Kevin Rudd cheated in the debate. He weren't allowed to take notes and he took notes. Oh, way to get political on me. Right <laughs> is there an election, there an election coming up or something, is it? Good enough. Uh, Geelong Warrandyte D1 Women's Grand Final. I think it's going to be a very, very good matchup. I think it's going to go to three games. I think Warrandyte's yep. going to win 2-1 and I reckon all three games are going to be within eight points. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be great. Honestly, it's going to be an Didn't awesome tip Geelong series. again? Ooh, to win, Geelong to win underdogs, undercats. Geelong <laughs> to win game one, and Warren Dyke to win game two. Game one, by the way, Saturday night down at the Reno. It's about seven o'clock yep, start. It is. So uh, you're going Geelong to win this week. Geelong week one, Warren Dyke will win the two games at home. But I think it's going to be a cracking series. So can you just look down the barrel and say you're going for Geelong? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not in the series. But I think Geelong will win game one. Yeah, look, go. Because Warrandyte are in awesome form, but Geelong are a very good team. A lot is going to come down to Wormholds. Well, Warrandyte do a really good job of taking teams out of things they're comfortable yeah. doing from on the defensive mm -hmm. end, and I think that's something they pride yeah. themselves on. Geelong have a couple of players. If they lose, if Wormold, I, even if she plays, she's yeah. going to be thinking about it. She's a back, she's a crash bang sort of player, so she you know she does the dirty work. And that's the first thing that, when, you, when you're under an injury cloud and you're worried about hurting it's yourself, the it's the first thing that goes. And you know, you know, you're not, a shooter might be alright, you know, if they're just a shooter and they come in and do that, but with the, with the role that Wormold has, um, it's Coming a big cloud. Coming up against cloud. Hendricks at one as well, it's not it's, easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even at full strength, it's, it's, it's not easy. There's some big girls to contend with with a bone. Geelong needs her to be up. Yeah. If she's up and they get their stuff together, they've got a team capable of pinching a game. And you've got to think I don't about, I don't know how it's gonna go. I know what I think Warren Dot will win, but I don't know where. Yeah. And you've got to think about injuries. We we had a player fouled out on Saturday night late in the game and didn't want to do anything, you know, more than we had to. Yeah. We actually finished the game with four players. <laughs> just so we get well, the last minute or whatever. Yes, man. Just so we just have anyone go out and injure themselves. Yes, you, so. wouldn't, you wouldn't when you're up like that. Because they might fall over or something. Oh, well, who knows? Yeah, they might just like trip. You never ever know. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to D1 men and, uh, well, Mildura. Let's start with Mildura. We said it. <laughs> No, you, did, did, nah, you didn't. Nah, I'm, yes, really, did. I'm really disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself because 
Oh, I tipped two things would happen last week, <laughs> and I've come up short. I tipped Mildura to win, yep. and I tipped Kelvin Henry to score 40. I'm disappointed he only got 38. <laughs> and look, we said right from the start, because I you know, I still think top to bottom Hawthorne are a really good side when you look at their list compared to Mildura. But we said right from the start, Mildura had to find a way to limit the effectiveness of Allen and Natoli, who got 33 and 31 each the week before. Yeah. They kept them to 12 points each. They kept Hawthorne to 8 from 36 from the three-point line. And we also said that they would struggle to defend Henry, and they did. So uh, the game played out, you know, for us, that was Mildura's dream scenario to cut the guards and get Henry involved, and that's what happened. And you know, congratulations to Maddie. And I think it's been mentioned a few times both in our yeah, pre in our you, pre-season mate. show. Apparently, we didn't tip Mildura to make the finals in the Terrell Conference. You know what? And I, it's been raised a lot. Who <laughs> said that? Apparently, come on. I tip Mildura. I'm gonna have to have a look. Come on, I tip Mildura. Why not? All over. Silly. Now you're getting silly up there. What's wrong with those people up there? <laughs> very, very, good, very good people up. Oh, very big fans together. of the show. They love the show. Um, uh, look, I thought Mildura would win last week, oh, sorry, on the weekend, based on the fact yeah. Hawthorne had to find someone to stop Kelvin Henry. And McClellan's, and it's exactly our plan. McClellan's uh, been fantastic all season. Had a good game. Line, and again, had a good game. But I just, Henry's big yeah. and solid, and I just, yeah. I'm... Mildura shot at 44%, Hawthorne shot at 29%, and that was the tail of the tape for me. Oh, they went, stare, I'm they, looking at it, oh, like I'm looking at this box score and it keeps staring at me. I know, oh, like, come on, I, I know what you're going to say. No, no, I know what you're going to say, go for it. Jay Allen, 4 of 12. No, no, hey, before we get to that, go. Hawthorne's shooting was so miserable, you only had to go to the foul line. 4 of 14 from the foul line they hit. They just had a terrible, terrible night shooting the rock. Yep. Simple as that. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Jay Allen. Well, Jay Allen, 4 of 24 from the field. He hey, hiked, 33. He hooked up 16 trays. Um, well, like, he didn't die trying. He never has, and that's that's the way he's played yeah. and done very and well. Natoli for a, first, a lot of games. Um, Natoli was quiet, too. McLennan had 24 and 15 in that he game. Was, he was it. He was really it for them. That Kelvin Henry, 38 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks, <laughs> shot at 70% for the game. Terrell Bell was actually but pretty did, quiet with 8 and 5. But this has been the difference. Brent Simons. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Since the Campbell game yeah. there, where they didn't play Bell and Henry. He's, he's played, played himself into some shape and some form. Yeah. 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 And he looks 17 points and 14 rebounds gives him another option. Yeah, they've been a two-man team for the majority yeah. of the season. Simons has really clicked it up. Again. That's four really good, good guys in a row yeah. now where he's been, you know, the, I think the he's quite capable. Or he's a good player. I'll tell you one guy in that team that uh, gets overlooked a fair bit, but has the ball in his hands a lot, and he's a guy that's setting up. Shannon Erskine. Shannon yeah. Erskine. Yep. Yeah. He's doing a lot of the setup work, the veteran. Yeah. So, we have um, one assist, so. That's right. That's all right. So, well, before we get on to the next game, <laughs> Go on. Why are you shooting down the flames, man? Damn when the notes aren't extensive. Hey, you're a fireman. Got the old hose out and just douse me down. Big time. What's uh, wrong with you? Well, let's, let's rewind, say, three weeks. and we Sorry, go back, mate. Let's rewind three weeks and go back to that game in Mildura when they lost to the Trove yep. City by 40. Mm. Then they come out. They just got over, I think, Camberwell, um, where Simon stepped up. Oh, hang on. They got over Camberwell, where the two imports didn't, didn't play. play that's and, right. and Jimmy Maddox and Billy. Really yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then they that. came out in the finals. No one really gave them a chance to beat La Trobe City. They beat La Trobe City. Then they've come out and beat Hawthorne, who have been very good. Mm. The defending champs have stepped up at exactly the right time, and they're a big shot at taking out. Mate, the they have the best player in the league by a mile. Yeah. He, he's going to take you somewhere. If they get game one at home. They hold no fear coming no, to Melbourne. No. And do you know why they hold no fear? Because they do it yeah, bloody every second yeah, week right. of the yeah, season. Yeah. So they hold no fear. Let's move on to the second game. McKinnon, 67, travelled to Whittlesey and lost Whittlesey, 87. We don't need to talk about it because we weren't there. I yeah, wasn't there either. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't. So you guys no, I wasn't just, there. Just uh, go ahead. Right. From the start, it appeared um, two things. Number one, Whittlesey were red hot and ready to go right from the start of the game. That ball was thrown up and they just looked fantastic, you know, and they were fantastic for much of the night. The McKinnon starters looked a bit nervous. There was a few early turnovers and stuff that yes. No Marcus. No, not Marcus. That you probably weren't um, probably weren't used to seeing. And you could kind of tell right from the start that it wasn't their night. And they never really looked in the game. Taking nothing away from Whittlesey though, like I was with the people that I was at the game with, I was saying 
the way Whittlesey played on Saturday night, they would have finished close to the top four in state championship, and that's not exagger exaggerating either. They were very, very good. They had four players all scoring double figures. It doesn't show up much in the stats, but Matthew Dirks was sensational, like brilliant the way How did Whittlesey go the week before? They got over the top of Chelsea with just... And I reckon that that was their nervous game. Yeah, I reckon that was the one yeah. where they, they just... lost last season just. I reckon they got the nervous one out of the way. We yep. see it so many times in the finals. Mm -hmm. Good teams scrape through that first final. Yeah. And it's like, okay, we've yeah. done that. Off we go. And then bang, the yeah. following week you see a 20-point win. McKinnon made a fundamental mistake leading into this game. And I say this with all seriousness, young man. Yeah. All seriousness. I haven't really looked at the box. No, well, so I'm just... you have so. You've scaled it. You, oh. you need to convey this back to the good folk at McKinnon because there are a wonderful bunch of people down there. By the way, for those that don't know, raised over 13 grand oh, for the Breast Cancer um, Network. One of the top leading clubs for raising money for the Breast Cancer Network in Australia across all sports. So, so we should make that our main MO <laughs> instead of playing basketball. <laughs> So, I'm, so what I'm about to say, I'm actually saying with all seriousness, yeah. every now and again we have a bit of fun on this show, yep. but I'm saying this with all seriousness, I reckon you made a fundamental mistake during the week. What's that? You announced the re-signing of Kyle Harrison. Oh. I wouldn't have done it till after finals. Oh. Even if you did it behind closed doors, I wouldn't have came out and, and made it public during Why? the fight. Well, I, 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 I've just seen it happen so many times in sport, mm -hmm. especially leading into finals or during finals, when there's a big announcement, like, and it's a bloody good signing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's a great signing. Yeah, it is. When big announcements like that happen, I don't know, it just tends to <laughs> affect the player. Yeah. It does. And, and Kale, who, who is, I rate him really, really oh, highly. He's player. come out and had seven points and five rebounds. Only yeah. put up eight shots for the game. Yeah. Interesting. It's just, I tell it's you, just more no, of Do you agree or disagree, Bill? No. no. Do, you, do you take my opinion on board? You I, think take, a, I take it on board. Okay. Timo was real good. He did everything he could to get his team over the line. But, you know, again... I actually want to apologise to Timo. I feel like I need to on behalf of the like, team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, let's take... And I know we've talked a bit about McKinnon, but let's talk about Wilson because they were fantastic. Can, yeah. I, can, I, can I just yeah. say one more thing on McKinnon? Yeah. And I say this with, again, all seriousness. All due respect. I, and I, I feel like I've got to qualify myself every time yeah. I say something, a big statement, whether it's serious or not. I've been around the league for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Marcus Timmons, without hesitation, mm -hmm. without even sitting back and having to weigh it up amongst five or six options, he, he is the best all-round exponent of the game, yeah. what he brings to the game on the floor and, and off the floor, absolutely. promotion, everything around the club, all that yeah. sort of stuff. It's the best I've seen. No question. I think he's sensational. He's a star. I think he's really helped McKinnon as an association put them on the map. Yeah, yeah good call. Yeah, look, I, I just want to put I, it out yeah, there because I, yeah, I see it first firsthand. So yeah. now you know, we're right. let's get back to Wilson. I, I hope he continues playing Timo. Is he signed up for next year? Oh, I know you didn't announce. He he's won't just, during he'll the decide week. in February, so he doesn't have to do pre season. He's a wild character. He had four players in double figures. Yeah. Jason Dirks had 14, Petrini's had 16, and I think we had Diggs with 20. Where's Garforth? And Garforth stepped up. He yeah. shot well. He yeah. snuck under the radar for you guys. Yeah. If Ed Inkham, you did no homework on him during the week. None on Lincoln Garforth, yeah. did you? You didn't even talk about him. You did not even mention him. Well, we got at some all. guys to worry about on this yeah. list. Well, they all still quality team. Well. You know, they are a quality team. Apparently, when you guys went out the floor, Brooksy saw number twenty and said twenty. I didn't know that <laughs> number twenty. Who's that guy? game program? Yeah, who is he? They play well. Oh, very good. And look, I. I know I've harped on this all season, but I still think Petridis is. I would if I had to pick a champ all star team, I would put him in it. I rate. Well, you said he was the best recruit of the season. I know. Stand by that. Still, Calvin think, Andrews pretty good. I think he is tough as nails, and I think he has really made that Whittlesey team from last season believe that they've, you know, they've got that confidence to take that step and win a championship. And there's every chance that he's going to lead them to one, and I think he's brilliant. Mildura Whittlesey, here we go. It goes to Mildura this Saturday night at the Hot House. 
It'll uh, be crazy, I was there last year. I'll tell you one thing we should mention too. What are you doing out of that for? It's gonna be awesome. Oh, one thing we should mention, there's been a lot of talk this season about the strength of one conference over the other conference. <laughs> Isn't it the irony? The irony. <laughs> the top two teams from the so-called weaker conference are through to the grand final. Well, the terrible you know? conference are in the grand final. Did you know that there's like a little club amongst the terrible conference coaches? They love it. They think it's funny that everyone um, that last thinks year. they're the terrible conference. Yeah. And after um, after the two teams got through from the Terra Conference on the weekend, there may or may not have been quite a few text messages exchanged from the coaches that were like, up yours, it's yeah, too good terrible. That's what it's teams. about. That's no, good on it. Good. Yeah. And before we talk about Mildura and uh, Whittlesey, we want to send out a very special a special message to uh, one of our great friends of this show. Fant- he, he, he's, oh, the, yeah. he's the wannabe Lord Mayor of Orange County, Sammy Smythe. Yes, I've had, and I'm not kidding, it's currently Tuesday, what is it? It's Tuesday morning. 407. I've had 14 phone calls since Saturday night. Mate, can we just send out an official apology to all those people on the Telstra network? <laughs> we know it went down for 24 hours. Sammy Smythe is the reason it went down. I'm not sure where it went down. Doesn't um, matter, 7.30 in the morning, 11 o'clock can, at night. Can we just give him a little bit of love? Sammy Smythe's got a new website or something? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Sports News Sunraiser. Sportsnewsunraiser.com.au, I gather? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I'll see what's on there. No. Sports News Sunday, just give him a little bit of love. Google it, yeah. Give him a little bit of love. And you know what? Good on you, Sammy. He's a character, he's a good guy, he's very passionate about you'll the see it, And you'll see a lot of big V basketball stuff on there yeah, as well. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way, hang on, by the way, by the way, Sammy. Make sure you link that stuff directly back to the Big V website so we get the hit jump in. Don't be right. stealing for yourself. We're wow. watching you. We're watching you. Jeez. Absolutely. Mildura Whittlesey. Mildura Whittlesey. I'm going to go. Can I get an anvil? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who are you going to go for? Game one. Look, game one and then series. Whittlesey series. Game one, Whittlesey. Oh, uh, yeah. No, Sweet. Wait. He it's a tough place to play Mildura. He didn't no, look, okay, okay, look up there. Oh, uh, um, he did. Diggs is a pretty good matchup for him. They're pretty... I think it's a good matchup. Well, it's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> it's, uh, not much You're going for Whittlesey to win game one and the series? No, I'm going to go Mildura game one. I'm going to go Whittlesey to go home at Mill Park. Toughest place to play in the league, possibly bar none. Um, the two places, Mildura and Whittlesey, both but that's why I think That's why they're home crazy. court. Yeah. You, the both will be safe on the home court. Mildura um, will win game one and then Mildura. Will, Whittlesey will go home and get them both. They were uh, unreal uh, against us. I'm with you, 2-1 Whittlesey. Um, I think Mildura win at home this Saturday night, and I think Whittlesey will get up in game two and three. But you know what, Mildura have surprised us all final series, so if they did win, it wouldn't be that big a surprise either. No. It's going to be no an one's awesome an underdog series. Yeah. So, awesome Whittlesey, Whittlesey, yeah. I'm going against the Dray. I am, they, ha- they have got, I don't know if it have been two games or three, I don't mm. care. Yeah. They have got the best player in the competition. They do. Absolutely. And I'm telling you now, guys like Kelvin Henry, they live for this stuff. They, they, this is this is what they do. This is this is what they come through in their college careers. Make a living for it. Yep. And you know, and you know, to no me, disrespect to Wilson no, no, at been all. Very good. And look, in Mildura's favour as well. You know, a hand, a small handful of their guys, but their coach, they've been there last year. They know the pressure of this week. They know, you know, they know what it takes. So. Yeah. Well, I, I'm with you. I still think we'll see two one, but yeah. it's gonna be a great. Terrell series. Bell hasn't been in great form the last five or six weeks. I reckon he comes on, and I reckon he'll have a good final series as well. And I also officially want to be the only person off Big VTV. The goes for Orange County. Go get him, Heat. I love Mildura. It's a great part of the. It's a great part of the league, and it is. I reckon it's. Uh, let's not forget, they're defending their title. Yep, they are. Then they ain't gonna let it's it go easy. No, they're defending their title and easy. they will absolutely get after it. Make sure you head over to www.stickytickets.com.au to get your tickets Ford to slash big, big V. Yeah, yeah. forward slash big V to get your tickets to the big V. And no mucking around there. this week. It is sticky. Sticky tickets. I know a lot of people yeah. have yeah. yeah. obviously told us. Yeah. 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 Get your tickets, they're going. Get in. Good luck in the grand final series. We'll be back here to wrap up game one next week. Whittlesey, Whittlesey, Mildura. No, no, no. For this week, Mildura. Mildura. Oh, we're going to Mildura this week. Game one, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, but you don't rate them after that. Oh, no, you don't rate them. You don't like them at all. No, I haven't. No, you <laughs> I'm going with the heat. See you next week.